Wow, what a fantastic crowd. Uh, I want to welcome all of you to the campus this morning on what is an exciting and important day for the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. It's incredible to have every one of you here today for this really special announcement. When I thought about leaving another career to come here to work at Carolina, I was motivated by the opportunity to do work that really matters. I had hoped that I might be around, not responsible for, but just around to witness a small handful of game-changing events for Carolina. Today's announcement is a true game changer for this great public university. It's jewel of an art museum, and is also a game changer for the state of North Carolina. I want to quickly recognize and thank three members of our campaign steering committee who are here today. Julia Grumbles from Chapel Hill, Roger Perry from Chapel Hill, John Townsend uh, from Greenwich, um, Sheldon and Lena, I hope you feel how important this day is for this entire community. I'd like to ask our Chancellor, Carol Folt, to come to the podium to lead us through this extraordinary announcement. While our Chancellor's academic training is in the sciences, I'm with her every day, and I can tell you that her heart is in the arts. Carol. Thank you, David. Here we are for an amazing celebration on yet another perfect Carolina morning. Uh, I just don't think it could have been anything but this for a day like this for all of us. We're here with so much to celebrate and to be grateful for. We get to celebrate what is absolutely a giant step forward for the Ackland. This is the largest gift ever received by our museum with this amazing collection of international significance brought to us right here to live in North Carolina and covered in the New York Times today and in print tomorrow. So that's pretty exciting and I think it's a wonderful uh, expression of the importance of the arts here. It's our chance, of course, to celebrate and to thank two wonderful, generous people Dr. Sheldon and Dr. Lena Peck. As you all know, they're both distinguished orthodontists, they're university educators, and with this extraordinary gift, they are giving not only to Carolina and North Carolina, they're really giving this gift to people everywhere. And today we also have a chance to celebrate both the power and the promise of art, especially as it is gifted to America's first public university, and this shows and will demonstrate the power of the arts to inspire for generations ahead. The gift is valued at $25 million. <laughs> Take a big breath. Uh, and it's the first public university art museum in the United States to own a collection of drawings by Rembrandt. And I was just telling him, we'll auction off these amazing prints at the end. <laughs> But they're extraordinary, and it's part of an extraordinary collection of 134 primarily 17th century European masterworks. You're going to learn a lot more about that in a few minutes from Katie, but I'd like to take a couple moments to talk a little bit about the journey that led to this extraordinary moment. So Dr. Sheldon Peck, double Tar Heel, <laughs> together with his late brother Harvey, also a double Tar Heel, founded this collection of old masters drawing. This is truly a collection of love, a collaboration that began four decades ago, and Sheldon and Lena together continued to build this beautiful collection based on their passion and shared commitment, and together they added and built the collection that we're talking about today. Sheldon wrote that in 1977, he attended a museum series on old masters drawings. And as part of the series, uh, people were asked to pick out the Rembrandt from five unsigned drawings. Now, as I understood it, only one person, the woman in the group, I, I added the woman, but a woman in the group, <laughs> was able to correctly identify 
the unsigned drawing. But what was so wonderful is that out of that challenging uh, experience, he became completely hooked on art. And I have to say, when I heard that story, I loved it because two of my absolute favorite courses as an undergraduate were art history courses. And like you, I loved the challenge of trying to identify the artist from unidentified pieces of art because of the challenge, what that meant, and what you had to learn to think about that art. As a scientist, I'm also fascinated by how the Pecks work as doctors influence their own way of studying the arts and building a collection. In clinical medicine, of course, they need to identify a patient's problems, need to ask a lot of questions, and they need to be thinking in the moment to gain insight as to how to do the proper treatment and the path forward. And it's that professional trait of asking questions influenced a lot about the way they studied and collected art. Sheldon explains this by quoting from a 19, uh, 1902 Rudyard Kipling verse, which is also fantastic. It says, I keep six honest serving men. They taught me all I knew. Their names are what and why and when and how and where and who. At UNC, the arts have been and will continue to play a very large, critical, and central role. I love the quote by Edgar Degas that says, art is not what you see, but what you make others see. And there couldn't be a better definition for why the arts are so critical to a great educational experience. They not only nourish our souls, but they also challenge our assumptions. And studying and experiencing art is absolutely a pathway to creativity for students and a very, very powerful conduit for understanding our history and our culture. And that is at the soul of the Ackland Museum, which is a Carolina treasure. It helps us move forward as a holder of our culture, and it's a visual encyclopedia of culture and knowledge. And this gift is a huge contribute contribution to our mission and our goal. The arts are also a very essential path, part of our recently announced Pan University uh, initiative called Arts Everywhere, which is being led by Emil Kang as special assistant to the chancellor and director of the Carolina Performing Arts. And as you'll learn, expanding the arts is a key part of our strategic plan for moving forward. So now, thanks to the PECs, we have an amazing launch on all things we dream about, 134 works, as well as an endowment to advance the use of their, these works in education, scholarship, and public engagement. They've given us resources for our first full-time endowed position, the, which will be called the Sheldon Peck Curator of European and American Art. The collection will be digitized. And that, as you all know, is absolutely essential to it being not only part of our history, but a global history. It's going to be also built into a traveling exhibit in the next few years, although we want to enjoy it a little bit on our own <laughs> first. Coming to the Ackland will absolutely be the best way to view it. There is, there is nothing like seeing it right there and understanding the works through the eyes of the artist. And I think that's something we're all going to enjoy. The Pecks have been long-standing supporters of the Ackland, and in fact, shall they de dedicated a drawing uh, in honor of Brother Harvey in the past. They've also been, Sheldon's been a member of the Ackland National Advisory Board since 1987, supporting many things, including the Art for Lunch series. And not for the first time have they really inspired us with their generosity. Uh, they've given more than 200 books to the UNC Health Science Library in the Sheldon Peck Collection on the History of Orthodontics and Dental Medicine. And so that reach and that contribution, again, we thank you so much for, and it makes such a difference right here at your alma mater. Uh, we're so grateful. I'd also like a couple more thanks. I want to thank Director Katie Ziegler. It is a pleasure working with you, and I can't wait to hear your remarks. And I know just how excited she is, having had a chance to talk to her almost the morning after we found out about this gift. <laughs> 
I want to thank Chief Curator Peter Nisbet. You have been such an important part of this, and we are so grateful and know how excited you are to be here today. And of course, the Ackland's National Advisory Board. How many of you are here today? I know they're all watching online if they're unable to be here, but some are here with us. We're very grateful. We also have members of the Board of Trustees here. Could you all let us know? Thank you very much for being here. And a great number of, of senior leaders, um, members of the administration here. Why don't you all raise your hand? Thank you, everyone. And who loves art? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, that is wonderful. I'd love you now to join me in thanking and welcoming Dr. Sheldon Shell Peck to the podium. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chancellor Folt. Thank you, all the dignitaries that are here taking time, the valued members of the UNC and the Ackland family, friends of this great university and its preeminent Ackland Art Museum. Elena and I are very happy and proud to bestow upon the Ackland Art Museum treasures remarkably preserved for nearly 400 years from an artistic golden age in Europe. And I love seeing all you beautiful and handsome smiling faces, but excuse me for turning around now and then <laughs> and admiring things that are even better preserved than we are. This is the essence of what we inherited from our forebears, European forebears. And this is an essence that stands out in quality and in meaning pretty much in perpetuity. And we know here at the Ackland Museum, these objects are going to get their due forever. I, I, I love each one of these. Lena and I love each one of these as part of our family. And I could probably keep you here for hours just talking about each one. But I'll face forward and look at you happy, smiling people. <laughs> these precious artworks, original one-of-a-kind drawings, old master drawings from the Netherlands, represent the best of civilization. After years of receiving our most studious gazes, these masterworks continue to elicit pleasure, learning, and awe, the ultimate paybacks from art. We want this enrichment to continue by gifting these now unattainable great objects to a marvelous university museum, the Ackland, where they can be shared with the community and the world for education and delight in perpetuity. One may ask, why do we collect drawings? And why Dutch and Flemish drawings? Our attraction to drawings 40 years ago was because of the spontaneity of the works, the experimental nature of the medium of sketching, the ideas being worked out before your eyes by gifted artists rather than finished formal works of paintings, sculptures, prints that had less of this artistic excitement. Why the art of the Netherlands? Well, the 16th and 17th centuries were the golden age of Dutch artistic patronage. Thousands of artists found thousands of patrons the Dutch ruled the seas in trade and colonization and had wealth. These material riches spawned an explosion of great art and artists of historical genius, such as Rembrandt and Rubens. It was a golden age for secular art, 
are truthfully depicting everyday life and nature, not religious subjects. We like that, and we became easily hooked on collecting these timeless, world-class works. But there was a problem. Others before us came to the same conclusion. <laughs> so there were not many great Dutch and Flemish old masters left for us to pick through. Nevertheless, we have been patient over the past 40 years. We honed our discriminating eye and mind to find and discover the best works available. We sometimes fought ferociously, I mean ferociously, at auction to win a masterpiece. The nearly 140 works we are gifting the Ackland Art Museum as the Peck collection of old master drawings are the result. This collection cannot be duplicated today. The high quality is just not available, regardless of price. For example, the seven great Rembrandt drawings in the Peck collection, with those seven great Rembrandt drawings, the Ackland becomes one of the leading art museums in the United States, and I could arguably say the world, with holdings of Rembrandt drawings. Most art museums have none. To our delight, the Ackland plans to put the entire Peck collection online with high resolution digital images and write-ups. Further, Ackland plans involve organizing a major traveling exhibition. It will stay mostly here, though. <laughs> Selected from our collection within the next few years to give museum audiences the thrill of viewing these masterworks up close and personal. A scholarly catalog will accompany the show. This is very exciting for Lane and I to contemplate. In our gift to the Ackland, we have tried to make sure that there will be room and possibility for future growth. We have endowed a permanent curatorship of European and American art, our particular specialization in collecting, and one that has traditionally been strong here since the founding of the Ackland. And we have provided endowment funds for the Ackland to acquire quality works created by American and European artists before 1950 to add to the Peck collection in order to do our part to continue to preserve the legacy of great Western art here at our favorite museum. Philippe de Montebello, the former director of New York's Metropolitan Museum once said, what distinguishes an art museum from any other institution, public or private, is its duty to collect, preserve, and exhibit original works of art. Works of art are the tangible manifestation of man's highest aspirations as expressed in visual terms. Lena and I totally agree with this assessment of great visual art and museum purpose. It has been our philosophy in our joyful journey in the art world over the past five decades. And to us, the Ackland Art Museum is the epitome of great collecting practice, connoisseurship, scholarly standards, and public service, the place we want our art to be. On closing, Lena and I want to thank some of the wonderful people at the Ackland and at this great university, the place that gave me so many good memories for decades since my student days for seven years in the 1960s. We thank Chancellor Carol Folt for her gracious and excited encouragement. Carol, are you ever not excited? <laughs> I'm pretty excited today. <laughs> Vice Chancellor David Ruth 
has been a stellar guide for our intentions to do something worthwhile and lasting for the Ackland and UNC. And we thank you for that, David. The Ackland's new director, Katie Ziegler, has been a great source of energy, positivism, and friendship to us during this gift process. Chief Curator Peter Nisbet has been a longtime friend and so instrumental in our gifting plans. We have been lucky to be part of the National Advisory Board at the Ackland, which harbors many serious art collectors with interests the interests of Ackland and UNC foremost in their minds and hearts. And to all of you excited attendees here, Ackland enthusiasts and boosters of UNCCH, this great institution of teaching and learning, Lane and I hope you will relish and enjoy this new edition of European Artistic Achievement, the Peck Collection now to make its permanent home in the Ackland's beautiful and growing section of Blue Heaven. <laughs> Thank you. for those inspiring words. And I love, again, hearing more about how you made the collection because you, really, you realize that a collection really is the soul of the collectors themselves who choose those beautiful pieces. So thank you so much for sharing that with us. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Katie Ziegler, the director of the Ackland. As you know, she just arrived over the summer and has been already working very closely with our wonderful museum curators and staff from day one. And this is a wonderful chance for us to celebrate together. She was previously the director of external affairs at the Smithsonian Institution's Breer Sackler Galleries. She has 30 years of experience as a museum professional in areas that range from curation to fundraising. And she is completely uh, devoted to this museum. She's a Tar Heel come home, and we're glad to have her back. She received her, UNC at, her BA at UNC in history, and she did that before she did her master's work in Islamic art at the American University of Cairo. She is helping us every day deepen Ackland's role in scholarship, education, and public engagement. Please join me in welcoming Katie. Thank you, Carol, and Sheldon, and Lena. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what a day to celebrate. I've had the opportunity to witness many extraordinary moments in our country's museum history, but none equal the thrill of today's experience. The Ackland is a global public research university museum. It's a destination for scholars and students of all ages from around the world. Now, the Ackland is the leading university art museum in the United States in terms of its holdings of Rembrandt Van Rijn's drawings. What a privileged place to be. Annually, 10,000 students are taught in the Ackland's outreach program. Recently, I witnessed several medical students learning to describe to each other what they saw in 19th century European landscapes. The exercise is designed to develop their observational and communication skills. Encounters by students from all disciplines in the arts and sciences happen every day in the museum, and it is important. 
I can't wait to hear them analyzing Rembrandt's study of a West African woman or his canal and boats with a distant view of Amsterdam. You can be sure it's going to happen. Sheldon, Lena, you are making the Acklin a mecca for everyone in the world interested in Dutch and Flemish drawings, an area where we held only a handful of works, many of them donated by you, until today. <laughs> With your transformational gift, the Acklin begins an exciting new chapter in its history with a renewed sense of mission and purpose. Your connoisseurship and generosity have strengthened us artistically, financially, and with spirit. We can't wait to find the perfect person to be the first Sheldon Peck curator of European and American art and curator of the Peck collection. And Sheldon, I know that in the ferocious fight you often waged at the auction block, you drew upon your memories of UNC Duke basketball. <laughs> when in your day, in 1960 through 1967, we won but six times and lost nine. It taught you to be tough. <laughs> the future of the Ackland is bright. Here we are in the presence of 17th century masters on January 25th, 2017, headed to that future. What treasures we are bringing with us. Alart van Averen's winter scene with skaters and hunters. Is it changing? <laughs> Abraham de Verver's Shipping on a Calm Sea. Thomas Vike's Italian Courtyard. Pigeons on a Chimney with a Nest of Storks on a Nearby Church Roof by Cornelius Sutphen. Sheep Hut in the Forest by Adrian de Vandevelder. Sheldon, as with this precious gift, your service and guidance on the Acklands National Advisory Board is also much appreciated. You are a model board member. <laughs> here, here. In 1988, when you gave your first gift to the Ackland in honor of your brother Harvey, we could scarcely imagine that we'd be here one day. You have done your part to continue to preserve the legacy of great Western art here at your favorite museum and ours in Blue Heaven. Thank you. What an incredible story, and in many ways, a quintessential Carolina story. North Carolina son of Durham, educated along with his beloved brother at the nation's first public university, leaves home, marries his brilliant and beautiful wife, and rises to the very top of his chosen profession. But Sheldon Peck always had more energy and passion than one profession could harness. Sheldon and Lena are exceptional examples of a commitment to and passion for lifelong learning. Sheldon and Lena, it is an honor for every one of us to be here to celebrate this gift today. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your leadership and what that will mean to the Ackland and the students and scholars who will learn from this collection for generations. Thank you for the example, most importantly, though, that you set for us of a life well lived. Thank you again. And 
We hope that all of you will stay around and have some cake and refreshments in the back of the tent. Our guest of honor uh, and the chancellor and Katie will be available for some media discussions with our friends from the media, but thank you for coming and thank you for helping us celebrate. What a great day. See you. Thank you.